Hello friends, Erin Brown, independent epicure consultant. And this afternoon we're gonna be making some delicious frozen yogurt bark. We're gonna be doing it dairy free. So to get started, all you're gonna need is your favorite dairy free yogurt, or if you don't need a dairy free option, you can use whatever your favorite Greek yogurt is. Open that up. I have chosen a delicious raspberry coconut milk yogurt. And I am simply going to be dumping that directly onto this great little pan. This is our quarter sheet pan with our sheet pan liner. It has this great silicone liner for easy cleanup. And it works perfectly when we're making this frozen yogurt bark because it's going to allow me to be able to pop that right off without sticking to the pan and easily break that up for a snack. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by just dumping this yogurt on here. And to give this an extra little treat, I'm going to be adding a little bit of our summer berry blend. And this is amazing. We use this in pancakes and waffles and muffins on top of our yogurt bark, on top of um, smoothies or uh, oatmeal bowls, so many options. It has that great strawberry and raspberry flavor as well as uh, hibiscus in here and that nice touch of sweet. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna go ahead just measure out just a little bit into my cap here, right? Probably about maybe one to two teaspoons. And we're gonna sprinkle that right into our Greek yogurt. Now you could certainly add this into the bowl ahead of time, mix it around, but I dump some on and I'm just gonna kind of smooth that around and have that right on top. Now I'm just making a small amount for a great treat for the kids. The weather is warming up, they're outside, and we say when they come in, they have this nice, cool treat. Um, you know, they think it's something like super sweet and amazing, but it has this fresh fruit on it, and like I said, just a great, nice treat for kids. Good, good treat for adults as well too, right? So smoothing that out, I'm using my three-in-one scraper to smooth this out. You know, if you wanted to do a full, full pan, I would say do about two containers of your yogurt. We need to grab some of these organic blueberries and sprinkle some of these on here. Sprinkle those around, go ahead and press them down in. And then I'm gonna grab some raspberries next. You could definitely use something different in this. Um, some blackberries or some strawberries, but raspberries and blackberries are what we have on hand. So that is what we are using today. Put some of those in there. Press that down. Make sure that's all pressed down good in there so it really freezes down into that yogurt. And then if you wanted to, you could certainly add just a little bit more of that summer berry topping. Another option, I'm gonna grab out my little toppers here, is to grab our Tutti Fruity blend. So I can take this and I can just sprinkle a little bit of that on top as well. Super, super fun. This actually has veggies in it. Shh, don't tell the kids, right? There's carrot in here. Um, and then there is apple, coconut, raspberry, um, basilium husk, cranberry, strawberry, and there's turmeric powder in here as well. And that's it. I'm gonna pop this in the freezer, let that freeze. When it's done, I will just gently take this liner, pop that right off, break it up, and we'll have this delicious frozen yogurt bark treat. For more tips, tricks, and recipes in the kitchen, be sure to follow me on social media, Simply Living AML.